This spring, the Blood Horse visited tailor-made sales for a behind-the-scenes look at yearling sales prep. From January to July, we watched the yearlings' transformation by a process inspired by the late Joe Taylor's horsemanship. This week, we're focusing on behavior and training. The round pen can do what the walking machine does in terms of getting a horse fit. You can um, free exercise them around, which is what we do, or you can lunge them around. Um, but you also have the ability to work on a horse's mind and their ability um, to handle the stress at the sale and to show properly. We're big believers in the advance and retreat method that uh, Monty Roberts advocates. Uh, we don't do it with every horse that we have on the farm, um, but we do it with ones that we think need it um, that are a hard to handle colt, kind of a rogue, wants to shove everybody around, the alpha male, going in the round pen, getting them to join up with you, um, kind of establishing the hierarchy that the human is in control and everything's going to be great if you just follow in line and do your job, that really pays huge dividends for the horses. Hand walking is also a very valuable tool. And if you look at the walking machines, the Euro sizers that, that we use, great tool, but great tool for getting a horse fit, bad tool for producing good manners on a horse. The main reason we use that tool of hand walking is to teach them how to walk on a nice loose line in an aggressive, controlled fashion and have good manners doing it. We try to have um, the walking going in line, like at least three people in a line. So what you typically do is put your fastest, best walker in front, um, you put your worst walker in the middle, and then you put your next best one bringing up the rear. So you're basically pushing that one in the middle to keep up and then this one behind is clucking and smooching and going and once they get into that rhythm and they feel it that hey when I get going at this speed at this pace nobody's chasing me nobody's squirting me with a with a water bottle when I do it at this speed everybody's happy and if you do enough miles like that they start to pick up on it showing horses you know it's a it's it's kind of an art what we try to do is we try to make our horses to where they will present themselves really good regardless of who's showing them. We believe that horses are creatures of habit and that you can give them cues that if they do it repetitively enough, you give them that cue and they're going to respond very predictably in what they do. Before each horse is walked, um, we have our people pat them on the neck, right? So it's a pat on the neck and a smooch. And that's their cue that they're going to walk. By patting them on the neck, smooching to them every time, they know as soon as that happens, okay, it's time to walk. Therefore, you don't have to drag them the first three steps or be slapping them left-handed behind the back on the butt and get them running sideways. They should take off walking. We don't just do it at the sale. If I'm out and I'm doing evaluations on every yearling on our farm, every yearling is going to get patted on the neck and smooched to before they walk. So it's just totally ingrained to them. By the time they get to the sale, they're just doing it. We've trained our people when, when they're walking towards the client that's thinking about buying the horse. When you get about 10 to 12 feet from that person, the showman turns, they switch hands. They've got the shank in their right hand. All of a sudden they switch. They put the shank in their left hand as they turn and face the horse while they're still moving backwards. So the showman is going to take three to four steps backwards. And as it does that, the horse says, okay, now this person has turned and is facing me. We're about ready to need to stop and set up into position. Going in reverse, as they get ready to want the horse to set up, they just raise their right hand and just say, whoa. And that's just a very minor detail that, you know, may seem like nothing to the outside observer. But when you're in there selling as many horses and raising as many horses, when you can have those little cues that make everybody's life easier and the prospective buyer get a better show, it, it translates into a huge deal for the whole operation.